Hi. Today I want to talk about getting the best from your alternator and batteries. On most boats, the engine is marinized, that is, adapted for the marine environment in which it's going to operate. But the alternator isn't. It's much the same as the alternator on your car's engine. Unlike in your car, where the engine is running pretty well all the time you use the car, on your boat you often want power for hours on end when the engine isn't running, so you need to make the best use of your batteries and charge them as efficiently as possible, giving you the maximum amount of use when the engine isn't running. This is where automotive alternators, and in particular automotive regulators, which are things inside the alternator that control the output, let you down. As a battery is charged and the voltage goes up, the regulator in the alternator tails off the charge current, so it takes forever and a day to get the last 20% of capacity into the battery. Let's talk about battery life for a moment. The life of a battery isn't measured in months and years, but in the number of cycles, that is the number of times it's discharged and recharged. The more it's kept closer to fully charged, the longer it's going to last. When charging a battery, almost any charger can get the battery up to 80% capacity, but it's the bit between 80% and 100% that's hard to do well, and that represents 40% of the total power available to you, as the batteries should never be depleted below 50% of their total capacity. Is there a way, I hear you ask, that I can make my batteries last longer and get fully charged more efficiently so they can deliver more power? Yes, and it's called the CTEC D250SA. You may have heard of multi-stage battery chargers, which are used when you're plugged into shore power. They employ differing charging characteristics according to the battery's state of charge. The D250SA does this, but from a 12 volt system. There are two inputs, so it can be used to control the charge from the alternator and the solar panel or wind generator. Battery voltage is maintained at the optimum level. If the alternator is only delivering 14 volts, it'll increase it to 14.4. If the solar panel is delivering 18 volts, it'll drop it to 14.4. So without messing around with your alternator and regulator, which can get very complicated, by fitting a D250SA to manage the DC to DC charging on your boat, you can achieve faster charging, increased efficiency and longer battery life. There's something else you can do too. By adding a device called a SmartPass 120, you can separate out non-essential power requirements, like Hi-Fi and TV, from essentials like VHF radio, so you never risk flattening your batteries and putting your boat at risk. The SmartPass can allow a charge of up to 120 amps, depending on your alternator, allowing bulk charging of your batteries if they've been deeply discharged, before the D250SA kicks in to finish the charge cycle in the most efficient way.